Hi, this is Casey from Joyent, and I'd like to show you how you can easily deploy and scale applications on Triton with completely automated configuration. I'm going to use an application blueprint from my colleague Tim that demonstrates a Node.js application running with a NoSQL database and Nginx load balancing, all inside Docker containers. You'll see how we can start everything automatically, scale it easily, and it will automatically reconfigure itself as we scale it. Now, there are a few things that we should have prepared before getting started. I already have my Joint Cloud account, and of course I have the Docker engine installed on my laptop, and I've got the Joint Cloud API tools installed as well. Let me show you my Docker configuration. This Docker host value actually means I'm connected to an entire data center for my laptop. That means every Docker run on my laptop will actually provision a container across the data center, not on an individual host. It's going to be really interesting when I show you something in a moment. I've also already checked out the GitHub repo with all the resources to deploy this blueprint. Inside you'll find a Docker Compose file, some configuration templates, and a start script. I've already read Tim's blueprint, so I know that I have to create an environment file with some configuration details, including my uh, credentials to access Cloudflare. I will need a free account with Cloudflare to complete the blueprint, and we'll see more about how that works later. Once I have that environment file all set up, all I have to do is hit the start button, or, I mean, run the start script, and it'll deploy the application automatically. Take a look. The deploy starts with provisioning and automatically bootstrapping the database. Here we have Couchbase, and you can see from the configuration file earlier that my uh, password is really secure. So Couchbase is started up, and it, we automatically start creating the buckets. And after bringing up Couchbase, the next plan is to bring up Touchbase, our Node.js application, and Nginx, the load balancer in front of it. As you've seen, the start script will automatically open some browser windows if you're on a Mac, including a window for uh, the Touchbase application. Now you can explore the Touchbase application, but what I'd like to demonstrate is how we're doing the automatic DNS integration so the world can find our application. Now, take note of the IP address for the Nginx container that's highlighted here, and also note the Cloudflare container that we created along the way. If we sign into our Cloudflare account and check the DNS, we'll see that IP address for Nginx right there in the dashboard. We've built that automation into every layer of this blueprint. As we scale the application up, you'll be able to see it. The first thing we add is more database nodes. And as you can see in the Couchbase dashboard, those automatically join the cluster for more availability and performance. With the initial scaling complete, we can do a Docker Compose PS to see all the containers in our app. You'll see that we have two Nginx containers for load balancing, three Touchbase or Node.js application containers, and three Couchbase NoSQL database containers. Those containers exactly match the diagram from the application blueprint, and we deployed and scaled the whole application with just a few commands. Let's take a look now at how everything is automatically self-configured as we scale it. When we reload the Cloudflare dashboard, we'll be able to see both Nginx containers and their IP addresses listed in the DNS there. And if we load that domain in our browser, I'm using a spare domain I happen to have, we'll see that the application is working as expected. And if we look at our Nginx config, we'll also see that all three instances of our Node.js application are listed as backends there. So what we have is a composed application made up of multiple containers that we can deploy automatically. And as we add more containers to scale the application, each service automatically reconfigures itself based on the new topology, the new number of containers in each service. What's more, the application is distributed across multiple physical compute nodes for the best availability and performance. Here I'm using our cloud API tools to take a look at which physical compute node each container is on. I can extract the compute node from there, and then I can sort and unique them, and I'll see that no two containers are actually on the same node. Now all this happens automatically, and I didn't have to set up any virtual machines or use any additional software to make this work. That ease of operation is a key characteristic of using Docker on Triton. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the blueprint at joint.com and try this for yourself.